All right, that's fine. We'll see how the sales do. Not tremendous so far. 5K, though. For a game that I wasn't originally going to release, we're actually making bank with it. Today, Vena, Vena has confirmed recent rumors about a new gaming console. They announced, they announced the Master V. The company claims the Master V is technically superior to the massively successful TES by Ninvento and plan to release it in the coming months. Wow. All right. Let's see how that thing does. Maybe we'll make a game for it. Maybe, ooh, since we can target audience. Hmm. Reminder that we will require you to pay back the agreed amount of 172000 in three months' time. Thank you for the reminder. I wasn't actually looking at that. I think we'll be okay, though. We've got almost a quarter of a million dollars. Not for long, though. This game's actually kind of sort of doing its thing. Let's actually research real quick. Uh, my God, we got a lot of research points, too. Research target audience. Cost 40,000 credits. We can afford it. And 15 research points. We can afford it. Let's go for it. This will allow me to cater a game toward a young audience, an adult audience, or everybody. By adult, I do mean mature. We're not making porn games. Although, Atari had porn games. Just saying. They existed. We've researched target audience. There we go. So, let's actually wait here. See how Medieval RPG Test does. It's really getting a long lifetime compared to the other games. Not bad. I think it's got a lifetime as long as Sports 2, selling 13.2 thousand. About. So just under 13.2 thousand units, generating just under 100 thousand money in sales. Not bad for a game that I was just going to scrap and use as just a practice thing. Technologically wise, though, I probably shouldn't have released it because we're trying to be cutting edge here. It's all right. Well, the payment should be going out soon. Today, the new game platform Master V by Vaynet has been released. That's special. We should make a game for it. A cutting edge game. The amount 172,000 has been deducted. That was the loan that we got. Bring us down to 45.3 thousand. Ugh. Okay, I think we might need to do a contract first. Because I want to do a mature game. Pick platform. Master V. 80,000 for the license cost. Holy crap. Alright, we're gonna have to do some contract work. We need a lot of money. And we need it now. Isn't that called JG Wentworth? 877S now? No? No. It's my money and I want it now. I don't know who that is. I don't watch TV. 16 designs, 7 technology, pay 21,000, 14, 5, 22,000. We'll go for logo animation. We can do that. 22,000, that's easy money. Minus 8,000 for monthly payment. It's an expensive garage. I'd imagine it's things like house bills, food, drink. Feed my alcohol addiction or something, who knows. Recently released gaming console Master V by Vena has stirred up the market worldwide. Industry experts say the console is not very well marketed in North America, but that it will flourish in other parts of the world. You know what? I'm okay with that. Because like the original Jormungandr, we had a worldwide involvement. Thank you for taking care of this for us. Those logos were very important. Transferring 22000 to the account. Thank you. Can I do another contract? We're just going to, like, grind out contracts. We only got character design and game backdrops left to do. In about six months' time, he'll have a another set of things to do. Let's go for game backdrops. Three weeks, was that? Jesus, three weeks. Ugh. Not sure I can do that. We'll go for game backdrops, though. Why not? Why not? I think we can do it. We seem to be pretty good as far as around getting like that 15th one. We seem to be able to do it, although it is coming really close. Three, two, one. Oh my god. Turn it in like the night of. Jeez. It's another 21,000. We've almost got it. And the only contract we got left here is character design. Three weeks to do it. 20 design points though. I don't know. It's only a 5k penalty if we can't do it. Let's go for it. Really pushing ourselves. Oh my god, three weeks is not enough time. Hurry up, guy! Uh, no, we don't got it. We got some research points out of it, though. Contract failed. Deadline is here. Penalty of 5k will be applied. Bummer, bro. Alright, that's, that's okay. We could research. 
I think we should go for the uh, the Vena though. Ah man, I'm missing my window. It's a new thing. We could make a really epic werewolf game if we wanted to. <sighs> werewolf Simulator, cutting edge graphics for a worldwide successful uh, console for a mature audience. It'd be great. It'd be fantastic. I'm not sure we can, uh, I don't think we can afford the Vena right now. I do want to make a new game. I will target it toward a mature audience. However, I've already done Pirate Simulator. I'm not sure. Space. Let's go Space Adventure. For the PC. I actually, actually everything's kind of sort of even. Hmm. We'll go PC. Keep the development cost a little low. And we'll be using our custom engine, of course. Targeting it toward young, everyone, or mature? Probably mature. Need to give this a name, not calling it game number six. Space Adventure, Space Quest. Although I'm pretty sure Space Quest is already taken. Space Mission, probably also already taken. Space, space, space hobby. I don't, I don't know. Deep Space. There we go. It's one of those really cheesy titles that have that really crazy, very much like early '90s um, album art. I don't, I don't really know what you would call it. Cover art, just that really <laughs> colorful, wacky, insane. Uh, of course, 2D graphics version two. Pfft. Of course, casual games. Uh, well, maybe casual like Nintendo games though. I don't know. I, oh god, this is still all sorts of askew. Um, I want to focus on the engine, because we are using a custom engine. I would like to improve the engine a lot. Story and quests, not so much gameplay, though. Solid gameplay. As always, I forgot to include these things last game, I'm pretty sure. Linear story and save game. So it wasn't a technological breakthrough, as good as it could have been. But this one, though. This game. Deep space! It'll be revolutionary. Oh, hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, a reporter from Planet GG. Cool. We've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you be willing to give an interview about this? Oh, oh God. Yeah, it's a space adventure game where it's adults, things. Great, thank you for your time. I'll publish this interview next week. Oh God. What do they say about me? Um... Level design, a little bit of AI. Dialogue, yes. Level design, yes. The AI is a bit derpy, though. Sometimes that's comically good, though. Planet GG has recently published a re interview with Jormungandr Games. According to the interview, the company is working on its first first game targeted at mature players. Yeti, owner and CEO of Jormungandr Games, said, We think that players are looking for mature content and games, and we are willing to take a risk to give it to them. How noble. Many industry experts say that sooner or later, games with mature themes will become more common. We are curious to see how the market will react to these games. Well, of course they're gonna become more common. This game's gonna be a breakthrough. And now we've got hype. We're building hype about this game. Right now it's kind of random, but later on we can actually do a bit of marketing and magazines and papers and stuff like that and create like marketing campaigns and generate a lot of hype that way. Recent market data shows that the Gilvador G64 seems to be slowly losing market share against other PC manufacturers. In an unofficial statement, a G64 employee said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. Bummer. Uh, pff, mono sounds, of course. God, let's actually put some time into the sounds, though. Uh, world design, yeah. Graphics, yeah. I mean, this is going to be pretty balanced here. Yeah, all right. A little bit of hype going on. Eight hype. Really, this game's not that fantastic, though. Design and technology-wise, it's just kind of meh. But it's got the hype. Make sure there's no bugs. We good, we good, we good. All right, no fleshing to do. Let's finish it. 13, 12. Nothing fantastic. It's a new topic, a new combo. It's targeted toward a mature audience, and it got hype. We've almost leveled up as far as gameplay goes. Everything else kind of sort of hovering around the halfway mark in level two. Graphics actually getting up there in 2D graphics version two leveled up to level two. 
sound went up and me as a person went up a little bit as well. We'll release this one. I don't want to trash this one. It's actually got hype. Why would you trash a hyped game? That sounds awful, Duke Nukem. The first reviews of our newly released game, Deep Space, came in. Oh my god. I'm nervous again because we're in the hole. Quirky but good, said the haters, Star Games. Shows potential, says Informed Gamer. Have seen better, says Game Hero. Have you though? Have you really? Could have been more, says All Games. Yeah. All right. I'm okay with that. I mean, I knew based on design and technology, it wouldn't be very good. Kind of sort of mediocre, but it generated hype, so I kind of, kind of forced into it. Holy crap! Is that selling in its first week though? Wow. We're no longer in the red. Wow. Today, Ninvento has announced that they will introduce a portable gaming device called Gameling. The device comes with changeable game cartridges, a monochrome screen on a green background, built-in speakers, and even multiplayer support via a connection cable. That's pretty revolutionary. Multiplayer support. Huh. Actually playing a game with another person. Interesting. Interesting concept. We'll see how well it takes, though. Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the game link is underpowered, but given the lower cost and excellent portability, it might find a huge following. That is interesting. The game link set is said to hit shelves next month. Let's get in on that. That sounds pretty amazing, especially with multiplayer. Could you imagine deep space with multiplayer support or even sports with multiplayer support? Oh my god. This game's barely in the top 100 really trailed off there toward the end all that hype for the first week sales and just didn't deliver bummer all right well we got 60 research points so let's research casual games i'm thinking casual games maybe a new topic maybe go for that werewolf multiplayer werewolf game on the game link wouldn't that be interesting multiplayer music on the game link we could be a text-based music adventure let's go for it the text-based music adventure. Um, with a gamepad? No, 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 no. Just music. Okay, we can only do one thing at a time. I'm going for it. Text-based music game. Go. Today, the new game platform Gamelink by Ninvento has been released. Yeah, and I'm going to make a game on it. It's going to be fantabulous. Just watch. Game off the market. Deep Space is now off the market. It sold 30,339 units, generating $212,000 in sales. Pretty good. That hype really helps. At the beginning, just random invite events do it. But again, marketing later on, you can figure it out. I've researched the new topic, music. Yeah, new game. Uh, e for everyone. Game 7. Music. No, wait. Lips and beeps is the title of this one. New topic, music, genre, uh, action. No, simulation. For the game link, license cost 50,000, but uh, we're going for it. We're putting a lot of money into this game. Game engine, IT version 1.0. Actually, can I just not? Yeah, I guess we should, why not? Text-based. <laughs> How is this gonna work? How is this a game? I don't even know. Um, ga ga game, gameplay, and engine. Without save game, without linear story, straight up save game though. There's no storyline in it. We're not doing anything fancy like Guitar Hero did. There's no story. You just you just play with friends though. It's fun. AI? No, you've got friends. Screw AI. Dialogues? Pff, screw that. You've got friends. Level design. I I don't know how that goes as far as music goes. I think maybe this is going to turn out to be a bit like the game Journey, but with a really, really significant soundtrack and the world uh, changes depending on the current song playing or something. I'm, not, I'm really not sure uh, because it's text-based. All right, I'll go for it. Growing interest in video games. There's also a growing audience for video game magazines. These magazines offer a great way for game developers to market their upcoming games. Yes, they do. They're expensive, though. We've, we can research marketing, and we will, so we can generate our own hype and don't have to rely on random events. Got a lot of research points. We could think about overhauling our game engine here pretty soon. Uh, absolutely mono sound, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be very good at sound. A little bit of graphics. 
I feel like some of these things don't apply and you kind of just have to know that it won't apply and cut it. Like if I were to focus on dialogue for a music simulation game, I'm pretty sure bad things would happen. This is actually looking to be a pretty good game. 14 design, 14 technology, bugs are ironed out, doesn't look like anything else is happening. We'll release it at the very beginning of month seven of year four. New topic, new combo. Great combo. Gameplay, boom, leveled up, awesome. Everything else kind of sort of getting there. We're almost going to be a level three amazing thing. Uh, pretty soon, graphics level three, sound skyrocketed because that was our focus. Yeah, we're almost level three here as a, as a human being. We'll see how the reviews are. If you have more than one million in cash, you'll be able to move on to the next level. This might sound a lot, but don't worry. Once you release a hit game, you will get to this amount easily. Ah, the first reviews for our newly released game, Blips and Beeps, came in. Oh my gosh, I saw a few tens flash there. The haters give it a 7. That's pretty good. Star Games. I like it, informed gamer who's currently being paid off by Star Games to give games bad <laughs> bad reviews. And Shills Potential says Game Hero. And they shouldn't forget about AI. Alright. Alright. It's a text-based music game on the gameling, and you complain about the AI. Ignore the fact it's text-based in music. I'm just saying. Strong release. Actually, oh my god, it's like a cult hit. At release, didn't much get anything, but then people heard about I guess they had to pick up a game link first, then, you know, second paycheck comes in, they pick up the game. So I'm thinking bip, Blips and Beeps is going to be the uh, the reason the game link takes off. Seems the initial sales for Blips and Beeps have fallen way below expected numbers. The game received good reviews, not really, but it seems that the chosen platform isn't very popular with the target audience. Not yet. Look at this, though. We're propelling the gameling into this current generation. We're forcing the gameling into the audience's throats. They will love this game. Vena, creator of the Master V console, has announced the Vena Gear. Uh-oh. A portable console to directly compete against the gameling from Ninvento. Don't worry, Ninvento. I've got your back. Spokesperson for the company said, unlike similar devices on the market, which don't come close to gaming consoles, the Vena Gear has basically the full power of the Master V. Less processing at all, except you can take it with you. The Vena Gear also has a full full color screen. Holy shite. Will this device topple the game link? We will see. The Vena Gear will debut in two months. Wow. That, sound, that sounds... I'm, I'm really liking this uh, spike that we got the second week. That's pretty random. And it's trailing off here. Still manage another top 100 game, though. I don't know where it was there. I think it was like 60 or something. I didn't really look. Got some fans for it, though. We have over a thousand fans. hey -o. And trailing off. It's done. Sold 31,674 copies, generating $221,000 in sales. All right. All right, for something completely ludicrous, it actually did kind of sort of well. 